In this video, we're going to be using LumaFusion and Procreate to do a really cool shadow clone effect like this. So here we are in LumaFusion, and I'm going to use this clip of Luna walking me across this field. Observant viewers will notice that this is shot at a higher frame rate, and that's really important because we need to export really sharp freeze frames, so we don't want any kind of motion blur in this. Shooting at a higher frame rate also means that we can slow it down later on a 25 frames per second timeline to make it look really cool. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is scroll through the clip, find out where we want to export our freeze frames, we go to split, export, and we're going to export a snapshot. Scroll on to the next one, split, export snapshot, and then we'll do one more, right at the end, that'll do it. Now we're going to import those snapshots into Procreate. Once in Procreate, we're going to go up to the colour, the top right. We're going to tap that and we're going to choose a nice green colour. You'll probably see where this is going. Tap that brush icon, choose inking, and we need a really thick brush, so I'm going to choose this syrup brush. And now all we're going to do is we're just going to block in that entire frame with this bright green colour. As we're getting closer to the subject, I'm going to change brushes because I need a finer tip. So I'm going to choose this studio pen and then carefully go right around the subject. Luna's fur is a little bit tricky, so I'll just do my best there. Okay, when we're done, we're gonna export that. So we're gonna go up to the wrench icon in the top left. We're gonna choose share and we'll just export it as a JPEG. And you'll notice when we tap that in the export options, we've got an option to share to LumaFusion. And that'll put it straight into the imports folder in LumaFusion. We're gonna repeat the process for the other two snapshots we exported. And then back in LumaFusion, we can drag them from the import folder straight onto our timeline and they'll snap to where we did the splits. Resize that so that it goes right to the end of the clip. Do the same thing for the other two. And now we need to key out that green. So we're going to double tap that first clip we're going to make sure we're in colour and effects, go up to the little key icon, and we're going to choose green screen key. Do the same thing for the other two. Double tap, colour and effects, key icon, green screen key. And as you can see, that's keyed out all the green. So the end result looks like this. And that's it. If you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. I'd be really happy to answer anything. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.